guys and welcome back to jungle strike when we last left off we saved the president and now uh, we're going to continue to the next mission obviously but i have just had to rerun through that mission again because um apparently none of the passwords i've written down work and none of the passwords that i can find online for mission two work so we're going to be going for save states uh, between the missions i think because man that was a pain in the balls anyway let's go good work captain your mission was a success you saved the president all right he's standing next to me which i appreciate sorry about those defense cuts ha you helped us locate the drug lord's jungle fortress too. The sniper you captured had this map that details the area's main targets. Why would you give that to the sniper? I love what he's done with the place. Me too. While you attack the fortress, I'll be flying ahead in the AWAC, feeding you the latest mission briefing. And let me know if you see any good surf and turf from up there. Yeah. Whatever you say. How are we feeling this morning? Here's our mission. There are two Navy SEALs stranded on an island south of the bridge. Rescue them for intelligence info. This sector is also covered by a large number of anti-aircraft guns. Our downed F-15 pilot is proof of this. Luckily, we've spotted a prototype hovercraft in the area that may aid you in beating these weapons. Mm -hmm. We've also learned that the madman is smuggling stolen crates of plutonium into the jungle fortress. Get them before they're shipped out. And we believe that the drug lord's fleet of nuclear submarines is stationed nearby. Destroy them before they're armed. I'm sorry, did you say this drug lord has a fleet of nuclear submarines? What? <laughs> um, okay, well, like I said guys, this ain't your garden variety. Um, a drug lord that's for sure anyway so this mission ah, it's okay it's actually quite short but it's kind of a pain in the ass for reasons that I'll go into as we play now first mission navy seals stranded on an island south of bridge south of bridge south of the bridge maybe rescue the two navy seals and fly them to our Coast Guard chopper. They have spotted the stolen XL9 hopcraft and have a code to jam the alert. Excellent, all right, let's go pull these guys asses out of the fire, shall we? Now, I love this this map. This actual map is really cool. I don't know why he's just shooting into the wind. Uh, we'll kill the shark for good measure. All right, let's get these boys on board. Welcome back, guys. We have the code to jam the alert zone on the hovercraft, and we've spotted the plutonium shipments. Fly us to the chopper and we're punching the coordinates. Aye, aye, sir. So, this mission is kind of annoying. Um, it's okay. It's, it, you know, it's not a horrible mission by any stretch of the imagination, but it's kind of a pain. I do not like the submarine in this mission at all. Now, the reason they give you for using the sub is so you can get around the AA guns. Um, I can assure you that AA guns are plenty, plenty effective <laughs> on this uh, hovercraft. Um, I also don't like the look of it. I don't know why it's like bright ready orange. It's, it's just strange. Now, I know there is a glitch that you can use to get your Apache, uh, your Comanche through here because I did it a couple of times uh, as a kid by accident at least. Well, I definitely did it once, I remember that. Um, but it is not fun through here with the Comanche. And there, these are the guns that they, we've heard so much about. Do you want to see how many there are? Let's check this out first. Prototype XL9, model hovercraft, model. I guess that's XL9 model. Hovercraft protected by enemy ground weapons. Wipe out the enemy weapons protecting the hovercraft. Once the island is secure, land the Comanche to take control of the XL9. Yeah, do not like this thing at all. But we're now on plutonium. So only actually five missions. Uh, so you'd think it's actually a really easy mission. And it, it kind of is, but we're going to have to sweep and clear it. Because look how many A guns there are, and, they, and gunboats, and they really kind of ruin your day. So we're going to clear a lot out. 
but we've got plutonium. Drug Lord speedboats transporting 10 plutonium shipments. Stop the Drug Lord speedboats from reaching the trucks on the shore. <sighs> then pick up at least 8 plutonium crates. Do not destroy the crates or a catastrophe will follow. Yeah, we don't want that nuclear fallout stuff getting out. We're going to do what we can. Right, let's take these guys out. Now, one of the reasons I don't like the hovercraft is its weapons. Look at its machine gun. It's absolutely pathetic and it's very hard to actually use it effectively. Right, well there's a plutonium guy there. Let's nuke him. We do have mines on the back of this thing though which uh, sort of limited use but when they're good they're good. So these are the AA guns that should be ineffective against our hovercraft. I think they lied. They're absolutely plenty effective against us. Right, let's open up some armor. And, right, let's take these guys out. There we go. You, sir, can kiss my ass. Yeah, we kind of want to take out everything here. Now, the mines are kind of useless um, against enemies that aren't moving. Bear that in mind. Now, this is an interesting little thing. Look here. Notice how there's an AA gun turret here, but there isn't. Hmm, maybe that will turn up later. So let's have a little look at this AA gun. So it's an arm score, G4, 155mm howitzer. Oof, 100 points of armor, 25 damage. Anti-aircraft gun, this weapon's rapid firing compensates for its low accuracy. It's not, <laughs> it does not have low accuracy. And we have gunboats, enemy gunboat, armor 100, power 75. So they do a lot more damage. These armoured boats patrol the Drug Lord's coastline, seeking intruders. They attack the shoulder-launched rockets. Yeah, and they hurt. Luckily, this one down here should have a little present for us. You got something for me, big boy? You do. You've got an extra life. You're one of the good ones. Now, how do you collect stuff? Collecting stuff in this uh, hovercraft is a little bit of a pain. You have to nudge into them. Which doesn't sound too bad, but... Uh, nudging into stuff is a bit of an art, shall we say. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of uh, artful dodging, we shall call it. Uh, you can absolutely uh, ruin whatever you're trying to nudge into. And as a kid, I could never really get the hang of it for a long time. Uh, I was a dull boy, I think it's safe to say. I was very dim as a child. Some things don't change. But luckily there is lots of ammo on this mission, so we don't have to worry too much about that. There's also some fuel there, which is pretty bloody nice. Ooh, AA gun. Let's go waste that AA gun. Ooh, low armor. Really don't want to die. So I'm going to grab up some armor. Luckily, armor is actually displayed on the map which is really useful. This thing doesn't have anywhere near as much armor, I don't think, as the Comanche. As I said, if you ram something too fast, you will destroy what you're ramming and you will also destroy what you're trying to pick up. That's bad. Gunboats, we're about half done on the gunboats. Yeah, and we still got a lot of AA left. Now, obviously, you don't have to do this, but personally, I find doing it this way is a lot easier. Um, because these things just suck balls. They really do. There's nothing more annoying than getting destroyed by one of these bastards whilst you're trying to run around and look for fuel or something. So, you know what? Get them out of the way. Oof. Now, 155mm howitzer. Not 100% sure how that's an AA gun, but hey, we're going to roll with it. Also worth noting that 155mm, um, that wouldn't leave much of anything left. So, not sure why the little shoulder mounted rockets from the uh, gunboats actually does more damage than those. But hey, we're not going to split hairs. It's a video game. Low fuel. Yeah, we're waiting for that. Okay. Now, the, we uh, running out of fuel animation in this thing's quite cool. I might show it off at the end. Um, it's cool. All right, let's grab that. 
you actually just see the pilot get out and uh, I think he, he's got like a jerry can or something and refuels it which begs the question if the motherfucker's sitting in there with a a can of fuel why doesn't he just you know get out and refuel it uh, as and when he needs and what is with the efficiency on these vehicles man bloody hell they are all gas guzzlers right it's another two scrapped yeah so they're not that tough you know but they can really sneak up on you the amount of damage they put out especially on uh, when we're hunting for a certain item well a certain load of vehicles later on now this one also has a nice little bonus for us you're a gentleman sir another life yeah this level's kind of easy as long as you uh, pay attention to what I'm doing here and clear everything out now of course obviously as I said you really 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 if you don't want to do this you don't have to um, it's fun and you know for those people that are interested on in the score side of things it's a really good way of getting a load of score now this guy's actually moving so I'm going to try and get him with a mine because the mines are another weapon we have on this thing they're very very hard to use as you can see they should not be this hard to use oh I could even trigger that one right that's a plutonium shipment better take him out now I'm trying to do your artful dodging nice try buddy yeah that didn't work very well the come on yeah the oh god we're getting hit by that the mines oh god Oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, armor. The mines uh, do like a thousand damage, so they will pretty much destroy anything in the game, but they don't really ever hit anything, so. Oof. Unless you can get really lucky and get something to drive literally into them, yeah, you're not going to have a good time with them, put it that way. It's a really boring. Uh, boring extra weapon if you ask me however they do have a use a little bit later on uh, a guns right let's go for the kill and this guy's just beached what's the matter mate you didn't quite make it huh you missed yeah you missed your landing zone it literally just beached the fucker right gunboats there's still two gunboats down here last thing you want is to get sniped by a gunboat on the way home little fuckers they will do that as well uh so i don't think there's any more extra lives on this mission i don't think so really would like to try and take one of these guys out with a mine but i mean it can be done it is not it's not that hard to do it it's just more annoying than anything else yeah, we don't need to use the rockets. When the rockets as well are just so good. Where's fuel? Fuel. Oof. Yeah, alright. Well, let's go get some fuel. Before we're out of that stuff too. 26 units of fuel. Well, that ain't no good, is it? Glug, glug, motherfucker. Not sure how this thing picks up uh, fuel. But I think should probably stop thinking about stuff like that to be honest because it's a video game you it doesn't have to make sense just has to be fun and is this game fun <laughs> yes yes it is is this game good is it worth playing in 2020 well yes it is i'm glad you asked uh, right oh hello little fuck Ooh. right four for you Four for you, and you, you fucking son of a bitch, can have mine. There we go. Mind that bastard. Uh, right. So, can we open that up? Please be fuel. It's ammo. They're giving us so much ammo. I think they they kind of knew how crap the mines were. So they just give you buckets and buckets of ammo. Uh, so you can just keep using the rockets, which is fine, you know, but they're not great. There we go. Right, that's pretty much all the AA guns left. There's one left that's going to spawn later. 
And again, it's ammo. Yeah, there's one left that's going to spawn later. Right, you're gone. Oof, you're gone. You're gone, but there's nothing in you. I'll have you. You're gone. Uh, gunboats. Two gunboats left. Three, technically three A guns left. Alright, let's kill you. Destroy that. Nice. Get the fuck out of here. Armor. Very nice. Right, you're dead. You're mined. Ooh. Yeah, now you're mined. See that? See how hard it is to hit these things with mines. As I said, it's it's possible. You can do it, obviously, but it's... Ugh. So, how many... Uh, we don't know how many plutonium crates we've actually got, but look how much ammo there is. We really had no faith, absolutely no faith, in the um, mines, did they? And in my experience, the mines just pretty much get you killed. Ooh. Oh, we're taking hits. We cannot take these hits. Alright, good enough, good enough. Right, let's not waste the fuel, because it's probably going to be useful. Ow. There we go, mission three complete. Of course it isn't, because there's still two loads of that plutonium laying about, which, that's not how we roll in these parts. If we're here to do a job, we're here to do a job, god damn it. I don't think we could allow the madman to have any of this stuff in his back pocket. Right, let's nuke this thing. Oh, see what I mean as well? The hitbox on the mines is very strange. Like, you wouldn't have thought that that would hit anything, but hey, I guess it does. Now, up here is where those plutoniums are trying to get to. Uh, so let's go fuck them up, shall we? They're gone. Uh, oh. Yeah, there's another. I was going to say, there's another one here somewhere. There he is. He's had enough. And this little, like, tower thing. Oh, God, we're out. Well, let's sort that out. There should be another ammo in here. No, there's fuel in there. Which actually couldn't come at a better time. Cool. Right, now, before we leave here, let's smuggle up some fuel. Yeah, the hovercraft is an interesting vehicle. The whole craft is an interesting vehicle, but it just, I don't think it's as, as much fun as some of the other ones. It could have used a little bit more time in the oven, should we say. Right, let's finish off this gunboat down here like that. And I think, is that all of the gunboats? Yes, yes it is. So, we've got the gunboats. I guess we could go grab that last armor, pair, armor repair up here, because we're not going to come back to the beach. Ah, uh, very nice looking beach it is as well, but, uh, you know, we've got other places to be, people to see, that kind of stuff. Look at all these guys we've left here. And I would say destroying all of these boats is probably pissing the madman off, because they probably cost a lot of money. But, uh, you know, he's got a fleet of freaking nuclear submarines, which I'm pretty sure... Uh, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure a few speedboats don't really fault him. Or AA guns for that matter, but hey, we might as well waste them whilst we're here. Waste not, want not, and all that. Good night. Oh, look, there's actually more here than I thought. There's a couple of grunts as well. You know, these soldiers, I think I said this in my Desert Strike LP as well, these soldiers kind of remind me of Command and Conquer. It's a very similar kind of like graphical style to the game. Of course, Command Conquer is just uh, you know all kinds of awesome, and I have been playing the HD remaster. Oh God! Right, there's an AA gun. There's that AA gun that should have spawned earlier but didn't. This is delicate. We've got to pick this dude up. There we go. I hate doing that. Looks like we found Face Man. Let's see how fast a Top Gun he really is. Yep, yeah. Face Man's a beast. Like, look at our firepower now. It's ridiculous. Absolutely freaking ridiculous, but we do need that firepower because now we are up against the madman submarines.
Yes, it's nuclear submarines because every drug lord. Oh yes, these are the drug lords, aren't they? Yes, every drug lord has his own attachment of nuclear submarines. There we go, that should sink it. And they're pretty cool looking subs as well. I've got to be honest, the design team did a fantastic job uh, in this game. And they should have, you know, this was the sequel to Desert Strike. Uh, at the time, was EA's best selling game of all time. Uh, when it came out. Which is no small feat, considering Desert Strike was actually a failed... Uh, well, came from a failed attempt to make a flight simulator, which is kind of cool. And then, of course, uh, we had Urban Strike after this, which, from what I can understand, uh, came from them trying to convert the Amiga version of this game and having uh, difficulties uh, due to the architecture difference between the Mega Drive and the uh, Amiga. Alright, come on, one more. And then, of course, we had the later PlayStation games, which, you know, they were okay. Uh, they definitely uh, don't hold up as well as these. I love them, but they don't hold up as well as these. They really don't, because you've got that awkward early 3D stuff. Um, they just doesn't age as well as pixel art. It, it really doesn't. Um, you know, but they were good. But they changed the camera angle too much. They should have been more zoomed out, I think. Now this one doesn't move, so can't mine him. Can't mine him easily, anyway. So we're just gonna. I don't think we can, anyway. Nah, I can't mine him. Now their rockets are devastating, and we are out of rockets because, of course, we are. Uh, right. Well, we can jink. So. You know, there's that. And we're pretty much out of everything. But that's okay, because that's his mission finished. So, let, we might as well grab up some ammo, I guess. Now, I'm going to put down a save state as well, because uh, I don't trust myself writing down those stupidly long passwords that <laughs> if you get, like, one character... Actually, I don't know if I have written them down wrong. Or whether... The emulator is just not accepting them. I don't know. But anyway, let's go land back and get our Comanche back. And then move on to, like, one of the cooler missions in this game, which is the training grounds. I actually quite like the training grounds. It's hard if you don't do it properly. Um, it can be really hard. And then, of course, that leads on to a hideous mission, Night Strike, which less said about that one, the better. Anywho, let's transfer over. Grab our chopper back. And I also want to save state it outside of a mission, like when we're on an end screen or something like that, because I've noticed uh, with some testing, and I have tested save states in this because there's a bit of jank. If you save state in a mission and then load that save state, the alert zones don't disable. <laughs> That's bad. Now, before we actually finish this mission off, we didn't read these two either, did we? So, mission four was F-15 pilot. F-15 uh, fighter pilot lost somewhere in sector. Rescue our downed F-15 fighter pilot. He knows the secret locations of the drug lord nuclear attack submarines. Don't delay. His plane may sink at any moment. Yeah. Also, you can... Did we destroy his plane? I can't actually remember. You get extra points if you do for protecting US secrets. And then nuclear subs, alpha class, nuclear weapon submarine, armor 500. That's interesting because these mines are supposed to do a thousand damage. But it takes two of them to destroy the sub, which means that they do 250 each or something about that. Okay, I'm not sure. Too lazy to look in the manual. The drug lord's fleet of four nuclear subs is in this sector. Destroy the subs to eliminate their threat of nuclear. Threat of attack. Caution. They are well armoured and dangerous. Yes, kind of. But hey, they're at the bottom of the ocean now. And that's that, guys, for uh, that mission. 
Yes, we're gonna save it. Second mission finished. Not too bad. Oh yeah, we did. F15 technology protected. Yeah, it's not too bad. It doesn't start heating up until, I mean the next level's tough, but the game really takes the uh, trading wheels off and starts repeatedly kicking you in the bollocks on the fourth mission. And it only gets harder from there. So thanks for watching guys. And as always, till next time.